So guys, this is the bus. Oh my goodness, this is just so mental. Okay guys, I've done this like intro about 15 times now. So this intro is just the intro I'm gonna keep. I keep like, like finding like bits of like herbs in my teeth and have to keep going cleaning my teeth. I've just cooked some chicken and I'm trying to eat it whilst vlog and reply back to emails. But yeah, hi guys. Um, it is a Sunday, as you can tell by my t-shirt. But if you wanna know where this comes from, it was four pound from Primark. I don't know if you can get it in stores anymore. I'm not quite sure. But yeah, today I'm really excited because I'm gonna be telling you all about the bus. But also, as you probably can tell by the title of this video, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway. And some of you guys might be here just for the giveaway. So instead of you like watching a load of footage about me chatting about this bus that you might not wanna hear about, I would just do like the giveaway first. So if you are here for the giveaway, I'm gonna do this now so we can get that out of the way and then we can talk about this bus, which I'm really excited to tell you about. So a company called yumtwins.com said, would I like to try one of their monthly subscription boxes? And I thought, yeah, why not? Because I could also do it as a giveaway. So everything in this box I'm gonna show you, you can actually win. So they do really cute Japanese like themed inspired boxes and they also do a couple of other boxes and um, they do like a treat box one with like Japanese like sweets and chocolate in which looks really amazing because they've got a really nice Halloween one at the moment you guys know I love Halloween and Halloween month starts tomorrow for me it's the first of October tomorrow and I'm going to be putting out my first Halloween video tomorrow so look out for tomorrow's video because obviously I don't usually post on Mondays but I'm going to be posting a lot now I'm going to be posting hopefully like five to six times a week now but yeah just get on with it harriet um yeah so they do very nice like little monthly other like subscription boxes not just what i'm going to show you but this box is just so so cute like honestly it's just so adorable the first thing we have in here is this cute little teddy and i think it's a bunny rabbit because it's got like a little bunny tail but I just, I'm going to say it's a pug. It's like a Japanese pug. And it's really cute. It's really nice and squishy. It's like a scenario one as well. So these are collectible. And it doesn't smell. For some reason, I was really hoping it was going to smell of like strawberries and marshmallows. But it don't. But it's so cute. And then we also have, oh, what's this? A little highlighter. So it actually looks like a nail varnish bottle. But it's like a highlighting pen. And... I'm going to sniff it in case this smells, no, I thought maybe it might smell of lemon or something, but it doesn't. Look how cute it is. And then we have this little cute notepad and it's like a to-do list pad. And what I love about it is down the side it has cute little like eggs. I think they're eggs. And then what you do is once you've done like your chore or whatever you've um, listed here, you then can colour it in to say that you've done it. And I think that is just so cute. But look, there's loads of different pages in here as well. So if you're like me and you love like little notes, writing down like, you know, things you've got to do and that, this is really handy. But none of my to-do books has that cute like little thing where you get to colour it in. So that's a really cute idea. There's also, and these are just really, really adorable. Some cute little sponges, but they're like bakery themed ones. So they've got little teddy bears on, but then they also have like cute little bits of toast with like chicks popping their heads through. But yeah, look at them. They're just really funky. So you get like four in a pack and they're obviously Japanese themed and yeah, pink and yellow ones. And these look like they'll be really nice and soft, really good, like in the shower or in the bath. And then we have, this is really amazing. Look at this. It's a cute like little um, squishy like key ring. And why it's amazing is because this does actually smell. It smells of strawberries. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, it smells gorgeous. Yeah, it's just a cute little key ring, a little scenario one, a little squishy one. And this, I don't think it is like, no, I didn't know if it was like a unicorn one, but it isn't. It's just like a cute little squishy. And then this thing, I did have to Google it because I wasn't quite sure what it was. But it's basically like a poached egg like machine. And I absolutely love poached eggs. So what you do is, because it's all in Japanese, so it does have pictures for instructions. But you'll have to like 
YouTube it or like Google it to see how long you actually have to keep the eggs in here. Because what you do is, this is like the little egg machine. Oh, I'm pulling it a bit. Oh, here's the little. It's got these two little holders in here and you put your eggs in there. You pop your eggs in, you put boiling water in. Then you pop the lid on and this is where you've got to Google it. You have to keep it in this little container for I don't know how long, but obviously Google will tell you. And then once the time's up, you can pull your eggs out and there'll be like hard boiled eggs on the outside. But inside there'll be more like a poached egg, which you're probably thinking it sounds like a boiled egg. But when I've seen the photos on Google, they looked more like a poached kind of egg. But obviously usually when you do poached eggs you take it out of the shell but you don't with this little like gadget machine thing. And it's really cool because you don't need no electric or anything. So this is quite good if you go camping maybe or like travelling. But I love my poached eggs. I don't know about you guys but I just really love poached egg like on toast. Mm, and like maybe a bit of bacon or something. Oh it's making me really hungry. But yeah you get that in the box. You get this cute little teddy. Then you've got like your four cute little bakery sponges. A cute little squishy keyring which smells absolutely yummy. A to-do list pad and then also like a little nail varnish kind of highlighting pen which will be good for your little to-do list pad. But yeah, if you want to enter this giveaway and you know be in a chance to win and all these cute little Japanese themed like little goodies then all you need to do is click on the link in the description box down below i've also linked down below their website so you can go and check out what they're all about like their monthly subscriptions how much they cost and then also check out some of their other their other their other monthly subscription boxes such as that chocolate sweet goodie one that i told you about which i think i'm gonna have to get but also i forgot to show you like look how cute the box is I don't know if the camera, you can pick that up in the camera, but there's loads of cute like little cats in there, like the Pusheen cat, with like loads of little hearts and like clouds and rainbows, and I think that's really cute. But yeah, instead of me keeping this box, I just thought it would be really nice to give it away to one of you guys. So I'm going to put every bat thing back in this box because I left everything out earlier. And Grace was eyeing up the teddy and I swear she was going to try and like try and nab it and probably chew it up or rip it up or whatever she does with all her other toys. So guys, it's now time to talk about this bus. This is the bus. Oh my goodness, this is just so mental. Mickey's now just left because he's got to go and get some more like, I don't know, something to do with the bus. But yeah, this is what our bus looks like. Um, all this stuff on the floor is what we've ripped out from inside the bus and then all that stuff there and then um i don't mickey obviously the door to get into the bus is over there but for some reason it's closed and mickey's like working here i don't know what he's doing he said something like he's trying to rip out all the bottom of the floor so he can see like if all the like mechanics and all the other like body work is all good and safe sound because obviously look some bits are rusty and we're gonna have to sort bits out but yeah, this is what the bus looks like. And um, like we've ripped off all the bits of the roof. All the seats are gone now. And I'm going to try and get into like the driver's seat. And then I can tell you all about what we're actually doing to this bus. Because it looks pretty destroyed at the moment. Okay, so... I was going to be sitting in the driver's seat, which I am, but the driver's seat is actually meant to be there. But Mickey's had to like remove it for some reason, so the driver's seat is actually back here now. But yeah, I'm going to answer like a couple of questions first. So the first question is like, why did we buy a bus? So the reason we bought a bus is because we want to convert it into like a giant like mobile home so you probably think why don't we just buy a camper van a caravan or a mobile home mobile homes are really really expensive and actually they don't have a lot of room in and also um like with the bus we can kind of convert this bus into what layout we want caravans are pretty much like box standard and yeah, you probably could rip everything out and convert it into a layout that you want. But then caravans aren't that big. And so we decided we'll go for a bus because we can, as you can tell, that comes on to the next question, like, why is it looking the way it is? But it's because we've ripped everything out and then we're going to start, like, putting in features and things that we want in the bus for us to be able to live in and travel in. This is something that me and Mickey's want to do for years. We just want to be able to be, like, one day... 
do you know what? Let's go away for a while. We can just hop into the drive and see Mickey Kang because I'm not going to be able to drive this. I can get in my little seat at the front. We're going to build a special, like, a little built-in cage thing for the dogs to get in, which will be safe for them to travel in. We can all pile in, grab some essentials, and then just drive off, go to a destination, and then once we've, like, um, you know, had a little explore around that area, we then can go and just hop back onto the bus, drive somewhere else, park up, explore, and then obviously because we're going to have a kitchen in this place, and also we're going to have our own bathroom, and our own little bed, a little seating area, with like a TV, it's going to be like a proper like a mobile home, but it's going to be built to how we want our spec, so our idea is that Obviously, this is where I'm going to be seating. This is where Mickey will be sitting and, like, driving. We're, I've got to be careful where I stand because Mickey's currently removing the floor so he can look at, like, all the mechanic and all the bodywork. So, yeah, this is where we're going to be sitting. We're going to hopefully build maybe some kind of unit here, which will be, like, storage, but then underneath it will be, like, a cage for the dogs. Then maybe built into, like, a long kind of seating area here. And then on this side, we're thinking of maybe like a little desk, a pull-out desk or something. We're not sure. Just so, obviously, when I'm travelling around, I can still vlog and edit my videos. Then like a TV here. Because some of the windows we're going to have to like, um, kind of like black out. And then, <laughs> we've got to be careful because like, there's a massive hole. And then over here, we've got to try and sort out the wheel arches and make them more flat. Because along here is going to be the kitchen area. And then here we're going to build like a shower with a little toilet and a sink. And then at the back, to save more room, we're going to try and do like a... Basically, to get in the bed, you're going to have to just crawl onto the bed, if that makes sense. I'm not sure if it does. But when I do more vlogs, like about the bus, like the process and the transformation of the bus... Uh, you'll be able to see like what I'm really talking about. Because you're probably thinking that how are you going to fit all of that in like a double bed down the end like a shower a toilet a kitchen and everything all in like this little bus but yeah you once i like do more vlogs about it which i'm going to be doing like many many more vlogs of the process and transformation of this bus you can definitely get a little bit more idea of what we're doing and you can kind of see like our dream come true because this is something that me and Mickey have wanted to do for ages, like I've already mentioned probably a hundred times, but I'm just really excited because this is a dream that me and Mickey have always wanted to do is go travelling, but we just didn't really know how to do it, especially with like four dogs. We didn't want to keep just travelling around and like leaving the dogs with someone looking after them. So this was our best option is to build a home that we can take the dogs with, we can live in, and then also we can just up and go when we want. Yeah, I'm just so excited, and I hope you guys are excited for me. And Mickey, this is the first process to our dream. This, buying this bus, like touching it, makes it seem like really real that this, our dream is now coming true. So I hope you're gonna be looking forward to seeing all the other vlogs, but when there's a next big transformation to the bus, I will vlog that for you so you can see it. And yeah, also guys, yeah, when we go traveling, obviously I'm gonna be vlogging it, so I'm gonna be bringing you some really cool vlogs of us traveling, because we're not gonna be traveling just in like the UK, because that's where I live. We're gonna hopefully travel abroad to like Europe and things, so that'll be really cool. So I'm really excited, but um, yeah, let me know what you think of the bus. Obviously, it doesn't look that fantastic now. But yeah, this is our dream. And I hope that you guys will love watching our dream come true. And yeah, I'm going to leave the vlog here. It's a pretty short kind of like vlog i think i'm not quite sure the time i put all the footage together is probably gonna be really long but yeah i hope you did like this little vlog and don't forget to click the link in the description box down below to enter the competition i hope you enjoyed this vlog and i'll see you guys in the next video Thank you all.